you recommend that um, we store our documents on the cloud? I think I think I've I've got all my originals. I've got a duffel bag. I've got a duffel bag full of my original piece, uh, my original documents. Right. Um, but I also have a document scanner. So I scan all my documents. Mm -hmm. I save them in my folders. So I've got them accessible at all times. Uh -huh. And because I've got Dropbox, I can access, access them on my iPhone, my iPad, my personal computer or anything. So it's very accessible for me. So I mm -hmm. really like having uh, online. I have, like, have it on the cloud. So I'm able to use it and manipulate it from there. Right. You're saying something about um, we should always treat everyone with respect. Tell us a little bit more about what you meant uh, with that uh, comment you said to me. Sometimes it's harder than uh, other times. But as right. far as the lawyers are concerned, um, the lawyers, it's easy to treat them with respect because, frankly, they're doing a job. That's their job. Um, they're there to advocate for the other party. And uh, you've got to respect that. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to treat you with respect. So you might as well treat them with respect. Um, I don't have any, uh, in fact, uh, the, the lawyer that I was uh, going to toe to toe with, um, I had a hard time pronouncing his last name in court. And I was a little bit embarrassed. And um, he whispered over to me in court, and um, he said to me, he says, uh, call me Matt. And it was just a kind gesture. Like it was, you know, even though we were going toe to toe, he said, thank, you know, hey, thank you. You know, I, I couldn't pronounce his last name, but night, you know, it was kind, kind. Like he and I didn't agree on anything, but his job is to, uh, to disagree with me. <laughs> so treat, them, treat everyone with respect, uh, especially with your email. Um, your email backwards and forwards. I can tell you right now, some of my emails, I maybe should have uh, waited a few hours or maybe waited until the next day and maybe reviewed them before I press send because it <laughs> turned out that the, my emails, my emails that I sent the city, yeah. they showed up in a court as a court document. So everybody got to read them, including the judge. <laughs> so be very careful. Uh, right. Like I was very, I was, I was fortunate that I didn't put anything too too uh, too bad, but had I done it again, I would have uh, I would have paused uh, and waited uh, before I sent some of my emails. So be very careful because all these emails are fair game. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a hard lesson to learn. It is. It's very hard because when when you're a litigant um, and you're in a dispute with someone, it's really hard to ignore your emotions. I I found personally as well, like it's it's just really hard, right? To 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 kind of not feel upset because obviously you're upset. That's why you're going to court. But um, but, but the thing is though, it's it's I've been very fortunate. Um, I've been incredibly fortunate because. I was actually able to use, and I mean, without going into, you know, details, but I was able to use the text messages that were being going backwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. I was able to present them to the court to demonstrate the civility that was taking place. Um, so I was able to challenge some of the allegations that were put before the court. So mm -hmm. that was, I was very fortunate, mm -hmm. um, but it was a good reminder. Um, but uh, no, all the, the court staff and every, and then the other thing too is um, I was very fortunate. Uh, the judge, the judge was very patient with me. And even though um, I lost my application, he, he went and uh, above and beyond as far as explaining why I was wrong mm -hmm. and what I should have done. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be helpful. That's going to be helpful to anybody else who's in a similar situation. This is to the last point that you mentioned here. Don't worry about uh, yeah. what someone says in court when the judge asks them a question. So I know that sometimes, you know, when the judge asks your opponent a question and they're saying, they're saying their version of the story and then you get all agitated because you're worried, right? You're like, that's not what happened. All right. So how do you suggest, what do you suggest when, when that happens? Well, what I suggest is, is uh, don't believe anything you see on TV. Um, it's it's uh, what 
what's happening on TV is not what happens in court. Um, when the judge is speaking, he will tell you when he's, or she will tell you when she's ready to hear from you. Mm -hmm. um, and when the other party is speaking, mm -hmm. don't interrupt them. If they're saying something that's wrong, don't interrupt them. Take some notes. You will be given an opportunity to say something. Um, you'll be given an opportunity to respond. Um, and that's the lesson I learned because, and I mean, it's kind of funny, but I, I was not happy about what the city was saying and I wanted to say something and I wanted to be respectful, but I didn't want to jump out and say that's wrong. And so I just put my hand up and I left my hand up and I thought I'm not taking my hand down because otherwise it looked bad. And uh, the judge actually stopped the court and uh, said, uh, Mr. Thompson, you can lower your hand. And uh, he said, uh, you'll have a chance to respond later. So I didn't know that there was a, that I had a chance to respond. And so that was another lesson I learned. So just wait your turn. The judge will ask you if you have any comments. You don't need to interrupt. You just take, take notes about anything you, uh, you disagree with. Mm. Okay, so we're coming to the, to the end now. Um, if you can do anything else differently, if you had to do it all, if you had to do it over again, what would it be? Shorter emails. Um, I would have, uh, I would have uh, spent less time uh, chasing and trying to uh, convince the city that they were wrong. Trying to, I'd have spent less time. I'd have gone to court sooner. Oh. Um, I, I pretty much exhausted all my options and I just went back and repeated them all over again and again and again without mm -hmm. success. Um, if I'd have had to do it again, I'd have gone to court sooner. Mm -hmm. um, I, had, I had sufficient documentation that I could have gone sooner. Um, had I done it again, of course, I'd have liked to have known about the rule book <laughs> yes. uh, and all the online resources. Yeah. Uh, that's really, that would, that would have made it a lot help, more uh, helpful. Now, what about the Adobe subscription? I think you mentioned, really? You think that a, 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 an actual subscription to Adobe would really help? Oh. I think that when you're in the process of putting together all your packages, yeah. um, you can actually, like when you had that fireside chat a few yes. months ago, Yes. Um, and, they were, and the judge was commenting about bookmarks. Yes. And of course I went in there, you don't have to buy an annual subscription, you can buy a monthly subscription. So you can just go in and get a monthly subscription. And uh, just to put your documents together, I think it would be very helpful. Oh, that is a great tip. And uh, now you also mentioned um, maybe uh, doing some observations at the court. I know we can't really do that nowadays, but uh, did you actually uh, do some uh, court observations yourself? I have been able to sit in court um, in the past growing up. Ah. But um, what I learned was respect the, respect the court. Um, as far as the, that's why, as far as going to court was uh, important to me is because I knew that when the, when the judge heard all the sides, the judge would make a decision based on the information given to them. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I was that calm. I was confident that the right decision would be made. Um, and and I, from my, I think it was made. I think the right decision was made, even yes, though I lost. I was lost. gonna ask you, uh, <laughs> ask you, you think, do you feel that the right decision was made in your case? Um, yes, I do. And, but, and, and the thing is that the judge explained why. Right. And so he explained why, so that was good. Did he explain why in person to you orally or did he, or was it through the written decision? that you felt it was it was through the written decision he oh. reserved his decision oh. i had uh i had two i had two uh two court visits one was uh, a written decision and one was a verbal decision so oh, interesting right yeah okay so we've so, come to the end of uh, our questions um do you have anything else you want to add any interesting stories? Just say keep up keep no, just keep up, keep up the good work. Uh, oh. That was it. it was just really, it's really, really nice 
uh, some of the some of the guests you've had, some of the links that you've posted. It really is good. Oh, well, thank you so much. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for oh, your God. continuous support, which is really nice. It's, it's sometimes I'm posting, I'm like, does anybody care? <laughs> Um, so, so or thank, or does it does anyone does anyone see this? Yeah, yeah. No, so yeah, I really appreciate as well your feedback uh, and uh, your support for this project that's been going. Um, and um, on this note, um, I want to thank the viewers as well for for watching. Um, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and maybe even the like button if you like this video. And um, thank you so much, Douglas, for coming in today. And uh, we'll see you at the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.